Hey there, everybody. Welcome to part 3A of my three-part 3D printing overview series. If you remember, in part 1, we designed a vacuum attachment for my Sherline CNC milling machine. Then, in part 2, we covered how a 3D printer works, we took a look at the software involved, and we watched as one of my printers spit out our design. Now, originally, I had planned this episode to be the one where I triumphantly showed off the fruits of my labor by mounting and using that custom vacuum attachment. But as the title says, some mistakes were made by me. But hey, at least you get to see why it's handy to have a 3D printer for rapid prototyping, especially if you're as thick as I am. It all started when I went to mount the new parts and I realized that the strap that I had designed was too tight because in my haste to design it quickly, I didn't give myself any clearance. And since it's hard to get perfect dimensions on an FDM printer, it was less than a millimeter too tight, but enough to make it, well, too tight. Uh, for you Americans out there, a millimeter is about, um, give me a second. Alexa, what is one millimeter in inches? Why don't you ask the camera since you talk to her all the time now? What? Alexa, what? I mean, what kind of a name is Canon Rebel anyway? It sounds like a porn star. <laughs> um, um, I'm sorry about that, but she was a beta unit. I think I see why I got her for half price. Uh, at any rate, a millimeter is very small. Okay, so no big deal. I opened up the dimensions a little, reprinted the strap, and all was well. Then, as I had mentioned I might do in my first video, I decided to redo the inlet into a design that's uh, wrapped around the spindle. Unfortunately, I forgot a minor little detail, namely that there needs to be a hole for the spindle. So after fixing this mistake and printing a new inlet, I attached it to the main part and placed the assembly on my milling machine to test the fit. Unfortunately, despite me taking detailed notes about the spindle's location, the spindle was about three millimeters further to the right than I had originally thought. After taking a quick break to bash my head against the wall a few times, I consoled myself with the fact that the main part fit just fine. Then, learning from my mistakes, I decided to check to see if the new inlet was the right height, because to be honest, I just sort of guessed. And I was wrong. It was much too tall. And despite me thinking ahead and leaving a slot to have access to the spindle so I can insert the rod that I used to steady it while tightening the collet, I messed up yet again and blocked the exact location I needed opens because the base of the inlet lines right up with the hole in the spindle, and I made the base without a slot. Oh, and while I'm complaining, I also noticed that there are some screw heads sticking out from under the milling head that will prevent the inlet from sitting flush, so I'll have to allow for them as well. So after all this, I took some more detailed notes and I used them to design this. Now this has the slot that goes all the way up. It, uh, I moved the spindle location over by three millimeters. It's uh, much shorter. And I made a slot up here to allow for the location of the screw heads. Um, I was just being lazy and cut a channel instead of trying to find the exact location. And because I was reprinting it anyway, um, I decided to make this base out of um, PLA, you know, so it's stiff because it's only supported by two screws and I don't want it to be floppy. But I made the rest of it out of this flexible material. Um, so that just in case, you know, in the rare time I make a mistake and uh, maybe I have this the running a little too low and uh, it bumps into a part, maybe it won't be a, a catastrophic problem. As you can see, though, I haven't installed this yet. So look forward to part 3B, where I really, for real this time, use 3D printed parts in a practical real life application. Cheers. This has been a Zero Calvin production and was brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs. What? Alexa, what? <laughs>